Smash like. Let's, you, I want to get in a little bit of the symbolism before we. Oh, well, you you mentioned uh, the breaking of the glass. Yeah, so that, that's how Kubrick makes the transition from middle aged Bowman to the really elderly Bowman. He hmm. knocks over the glass because of his clumsiness. I don't know. What do you think? I wasn't thinking about that. That's really great. Well, first, I wanted to say something about shapes. So, so we've been talking about the obelisk. We've been talking about rectangular shapes. Rectangular shapes meaning like um, either um, the alien intelligence mostly or artificial intelligence, um, you know, in the case of Hal. Hal's kind of both, right? So like Hal is the rectangle, but he's also the circle. He's also a circle, right? yeah. So the circle implies an eye, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, very strongly. And of course we see Bowman's eye when we're going through the 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 stargate right mm -hmm. and uh on the table this may be a stretch but Go that's what it. we're here for that's what so we're here for the the on the table the serving trays are rectangular with lids but the plate is round and it's like to me the round is the human symbol right mm -hmm. In the and the and the and the rectangle is the alien symbol. So it's like, it's like you know the aliens are providing him with food. He takes it from the presumably from those trays, puts mm -hmm. it on his round plate, and then it becomes. I I mean I know I'm really reaching here, but but I don't think that there's a misplaced object in that room. I think that Kubrick put every single object in that room for a purpose. I tend to agree with you only because everything else that he did is was so deliberate. Uh, uh, nothing, nothing in any shot that he did um, appears to be casual. And people that worked with him on this film talk about this a lot, that uh, it, it's often, it's often um, turned into a cartoonish version of him that he was obsessive. Right. No, he was deliberate. The way they describe it is that he was not obsessive. It's that he knew what he wanted. Yeah. And he wanted his people to deliver exactly what he asked for. I, I um, admire that. Right. So um, I, that supports your idea that in a, in a scene, particularly a scene that is as sparse, as sparsely populated with objects as the, the end room scene is, um, I would have to imagine that everything was considered, you know, not placed randomly, not chosen randomly. Well, those chairs look really darn comfortable. I have to tell you, I don't, <laughs> I don't have a chair like that in my house. Yeah. Um, the bed looks really comfortable too. The bed does look pretty comfortable, although it's a bit large for my taste. The for food so looks really good, right? Like it's like a full plate of food that yeah. he's tucking into there, man. Yes. Like he is having a meal, right? Yes. What? Let you me ask you a about... question. Yeah, I have a, I have a different memory of that end sequence. So he's he's eating as as the middle stage Bowman in in the jacket. Yeah. I feel like I remember one where he was really elderly, you know, hairless in the white suit, eating soup. Am I misremembering that? Or maybe that well, was in 2010. I don't know. No, I don't think that's in 2010. But you you you've just sparked uh maybe a false memory like maybe now i'm inserting a memory that it i could didn't be a have false memory but the the thing That's, is, is that i like i he like cut, that. he cut 15 or 20 minutes out after maybe, the first showing maybe we saw it in a different version or and maybe i'm, I'm just wondering yeah i'm just wondering if it's possible that i've, I've seen an alternate version um, oh, yeah. I'll have to go everybody says that. there is no such thing as a director's cut of 2001 because when he shortened it it was because he wanted to shorten it because when he when he finally saw it with the audience he realized there were certain um sequences that just lasted too long yeah and he had to put an intermission in anyway because it was already two and a half hours long right, right. how much longer could it be i the yeah. um the scene with the uh broken glass mm -hmm. so All right, you are, we're talking Christ imagery, right? Mm -hmm. Is this his last supper, right? I mean, it's his last oh, meal. It's his last that's, meal. That's an interesting, his last meal, yeah. I mean, is he a condemned man or is it just his last like sensual pleasure of eating before he becomes transformed into an other world? Is, it his, is it his last worldly 
act. You know what I mean? Oh, totally. Because yeah, like, I mean, yeah, he's more ingesting. Fun, he's like, ingesting. He doesn't food. have a companion, so he can't have sex. But like, you he's know, he's ingesting food. It's it's a, it's a pleasurable sensation. He's got a good meal, as primitive. you as you observed. But it could be like the Matrix, where it's like he's imagining he's having this meal. He's not, you know, physically really having it. I love that. Um, and the idea, the idea that this is an imagination uh, or a dream. It's not actually happening. Also, very likely. Sure. Uh, I love that idea of Last Supper. So, but that's not all. So, so he, he, he breaks the, the glass, right? Yeah. So it's not the only glass on the table, right? Mm -hmm. well, it, it never is. You got to have a water glass and a wine glass. So which one does he break? Yeah, that I didn't notice. That I, didn't I did. Know. Wine. Yeah. Is it the wine? You know how I know? Uh -uh. All right. So here's how I know. Now, I don't know. Maybe you can tell by the placement of the glasses. I'm not that, you know, yeah, I don't, I would, I don't I'd have to look eat with it. my pinky extended, so I don't know these things. I, I try but, but he takes, he at one point, he's eating, and he takes the glass, and he drinks. Mm -hmm. And he looks at it. He does. He regards it. Almost admiring it. Like, yes. Yep. That's, that's a really good. good glass of wine. Yeah. And puts You're it right. down. Because you don't do that with water. I mean, nowadays, you might do it with water. Nah. That's a great nowadays, point. Nowadays, you might go... Well, that's Aquafina, but I really prefer Sal no, Pellegrino. I get, but, I always get tap water at the table. Thank you. But this is, that's wine. You're right. I, I, I remember since I just watched it last night. You're right. He, he takes a moment and he, he looks at it and he does admire it. Yeah. So you're right. That is the wine glass. So that's the wine glass. That is Christ imagery. He knocks it over, it breaks. Yeah. Right. Yes. So we all know what wine in the, you know, sacrament is christ's blood right yes so yes he, yes so he spills the blood right yeah and he is about to expire from his mortal existence and that's become right. something else semi-divine right yes. so for me that's that's the christ that's the christ imagery for me in in the scene 